everyone, Esther Kim here, ready to practice with you on the mat today. As you can see, I am dressed for a run later after this practice, so I really wanted to get a hip-focused practice in before heading out for some fresh air. So let's begin. I'm actually going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing with my spine. Go ahead and bring your hands in front of your shins as an anchoring point. All right, so you're going to bring your ribs forward. Let's begin here and lift the chest and chin up, eyes toward the sky. We're finding a variation of cow pose. And then exhale, go ahead and begin to tuck your chin in toward the chest as you lean back, round the upper back. Inhale, bring your ribs forward once more, lift the, lift the chest and the eyes and chin up. Good, exhale, round it for your variation of cat pose. So good for the spine. One more time, inhale, bring your ribs forward, lift your sternum, your chest up, look up. Open the chest and the collarbones, that's it, exhale. Go ahead and go the opposite direction as you round and lean back. Come to a neutral spine, let's come into our seat. Go ahead and bring your hands on top of your thighs. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out. One more time, inhale through the nose. And again, exhale the breath out. Try and keep your breath steady throughout today's practice. I'm going to go ahead and turn forward facing towards you so you can see what our next posture is. Reaching your fingers wide, spread through the fingertips, and then bring your palms out facing the right and left. Flex up the wrists. Spread your fingers wide. Feel the energy out through the palms. Here we're starting by bringing the thumbs forward, keeping the palms wide. Lift your fingers up gently toward the ceiling and reaching your pinkies back, lowering your hands back down. We're creating small, slow circles. Take your time, keep your fingers wide. So you're creating the energy out through the palms, out through the tips of the fingers, but at the same time, articulating slowly all the way up into the shoulders. Make sure you keep the ribs contained as you pull them back toward the spine, keeping the, sp the spine really tall and lifted. Let's take three more circles. One, very good, two, Let's take one more full circle, three. Complete your third circle and hold here at the center. Shoulder height, spreading the fingers wide, spine tall, five, hold, four, three, two, hold, one. We're going the opposite direction. So go toward the pinky side of the hands behind you, lift up, and then move forward toward the thumbs. Continue on, making your small, slow circles. I know you're feeling a bit of heat building in the shoulders. Don't worry, stay connected with the breath. And then let's take a few more, last three. Good, last two. And take one more full, slow, strong circle, one. Once again, we're gonna hold, spread your fingers wide, keep your spine tall, last five. Four, three, two, and one. Lower your fingertips all the way to the ground, nice and slow. And then roll the shoulders out, take a few rounds here. And then re-spread your fingers wide, lift your arms all the way up toward the sky this time. Go ahead and turn your palms out and away from one another, reaching your arms behind you. Imagine that you're pressing your palms toward one another, pressing into a beach ball. Good, again, inhale, reach your arms up. We'll take two more big circles up, down, and back. Exhale, spreading the fingers wide, reaching your palms behind you, keeping your chest broad. One more time, inhale, lift your arms all the way up. This time, keep your arms lifted. Hug your elbows in toward the outer ears, and then interlace the fingers above you. Turn your palms up toward the sky, keep your palms wide, and stretch up through the wrists rather than the finger joints. And then hug the arm bones back in toward the ears. Good, three, stay breathing, two, good, last one. Slowly release your hands out, 
and behind you one more time. Interlace your fingers. You can always use a yoga strap or a belt if you have it or a towel. Reach your arms back and then open your chest. Okay, go ahead and lean forward, hinging from the hips and lift your arms up toward the sky. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out. And then slowly re-rise all the way up toward neutral and release your hands to shake it out. Very nice. Go ahead and bring your arms all the way up. And while we are here, go ahead and switch the cross of your legs. Go ahead and bring your arms toward the right, right hand behind the hip, left hand to the outer right thigh. Inhale, lengthen up. Let's find a twist, looking toward the right shoulder. Good, inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale to your left. Again, inhale, find a little bit more dynamic movement with the breath. Exhale to the right. This feels so amazing. Inhale, reach your arms up, and then exhale, twist to the left. Let's do one more. Inhale, lift. Good, exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. One more each side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist to the right. So this fourth round, I'm going to anchor my left hand to the outer right thigh, lifting the spine tall on the inhale breath. On the exhale breath, twist toward the right. The head and neck can go last. And as I anchor this left hand on the right thigh, reach your back arm up toward the ceiling. Okay, you're gonna keep reaching up and then look toward the front of the legs, fold as, my, as I reach my right arm forward. The back arm moves to the front. Good, inhale, reach your arm up and twist it behind. Let's do two more. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, twist it forward and fold. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Reach both arms up toward the sky. Second side, exhale, find your seated spinal twist. Lengthen up, inhale, exhale to twist. And then using that right hand, anchor your outer left thigh. Bring your left back arm up, over the ear, toward the front as you look down, find a forward fold. Good, inhale, lift. And exhale, twist back. One more time, inhale. Exhale forward. Inhale, lift up. And reach back to complete your second side. Both arms reach up toward the ceiling. Go ahead and bring opposite hands to opposite elbows. Just hold here for a moment. Good, and then turn your chest and your gaze up toward the sky. Good, exhale, slowly release your hands to the ground, shake it out. All right, we're gonna come into a tabletop position, hands and knees. Go ahead and simply find a child's pose. Move your hips back toward the heels, stretch your arms forward. Take an inhale through the nose, and exhale the breath out. And then on your next inhale, move forward, coming into your tabletop position, hands and knees. Start by spreading your fingers wide, stack your shoulders over the wrist, and stack your hips over the knees. Let's start out by finding a little bit more movement in the legs. Reach your right heel back, keeping your right toes tucked underneath you. Let's get a nice calf stretch as I stretch the heel back, moving through the entire back of my right leg, but at the same time, keeping my chest moving forward. That's it, and then slowly release it out. Again, stretch your heel back, keeping your toes tucked, attached to the ground. Keep your heel back, but move your chest forward energetically. That's it, and then release. Let's do the second side. Left toes tuck, reach the heel back, stretch the back of the calf, hamstring all the way up to the hips. Good, and then release. One more time. Move your heel back, chest forward, belly lifts. That's it, and then slowly release. From here, go ahead and reach your right leg back. Keep your toes facing down. Keep your outer right hip in line with the left. So the hips want to stay nice and even. Flex your right foot. 
From here, walk your left fingertips forward, find a nice stretch through the left arm as I lift it up in line with my left ear. Good. We're finding our sunbird pose. A little bit of balance work, beginning to ignite the core. Take one more breath into the nose. Exhale, go ahead and bring the elbow in toward the knee. Okay, and round the upper back. We're creating that same cat spine. Inhale, reach and extend. Good. Exhale, bring elbow into knee. Inhale, reach. Good. Lower the left hand to the ground and bring your right knee back down. Child's pose, hips to heels. Inhale, come forward to tabletop. Okay, go ahead and tuck your right toes. Separate your knees, inner hips distance apart. You're gonna lift your right thigh bone into the hip socket to hover the right knee off the ground. Okay, you're gonna use that core to lift the leg. From here, flex your right foot and lift your knee out toward the right. Find a little bit more opening in the outer hip. Lower back down. Starting to feel the working. Inhale, reach the hip, hip out, the knee out. Keep the foot flexed. Lower back down. And then move into child's pose. Good, again, come forward. Let's take the second side. Go ahead and tuck your left toes and lift your hip, lift your leg off the ground, keeping your hips level and even. Reach your right arm forward, take your time, bicep in line with the ear, sunward pose, take an inhale. Exhale, bring the elbow in toward the knee. We've got one more, inhale, reach. Good, exhale, elbow into the knee. Good, inhale, extend. Lower your right hand down, left knee down, child's pose. Inhale, come forward, tabletop pose. Flex your left foot and walk your knees apart, hips distance. Hover your left knee off the ground using the lift of the thigh bone into the hip socket. Use that core work. Good, and then lift your left knee out toward your left, hip height, do the best you can. Lower your left knee down, hover the knee. Good, one more time, knee lifts up high, good, hold and lower your left knee. Move your hips back, child's pose. Extend the arms forward. Again, come forward to tabletop pose, let's add on. This time, extend your right leg out wide, keeping your foot flat. Toes are facing forward, and the ankle is in line with my left knee. Move your hips back toward the left heel. You can keep your toes tucked or untucked, and then move forward. You should feel a nice big stretch in the inner outer hips. And then one more time, move your hips back as far as you'd like to go. I'm going to go all the way back toward my heel and soften the forehead toward the ground. Good, and then slowly come forward into hands, stack under the shoulders. Reach your right arm up toward the ceiling, open the chest. Good, exhale, sweep your right arm underneath your left armpit. Coming into thread the needle pose, upper chest. At the same time, bring the right leg out and keeping the foot flat, extend the left arm forward. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Bring the left hand underneath the left shoulder and unwind the leg. Reach the right arm up and back down to the ground. All right, a little bit of challenge work for the outer hip. Go ahead and flex your right foot. The big toe side anchors down onto the ground. Okay, try not to lean toward the left, but stay centered in the shoulders. You can tuck your back toes. A little challenge work to hover the right hip, or rather the leg up away from the ground. Good, chest forward, three, two, one. Lower down, take a moment, or hover. Lift back up, we've got two more, three, Two, one, slowly lower or hover. One more, inhale, lift. Three, two, one, slowly lower. Good, bend your knee, bring it back in underneath the hips and stretch into child's pose. Full breath in, exhale out. 
Let's take our second side, tabletop position. Hands and knees, stretch your left foot out wide. Okay, we're gonna bring the foot flat, the toes facing straight ahead toward the front of the mat. Hands are stacked underneath the shoulders. Take an inhale, lean forward, and then lean back, hips toward the heel. And just go as far as the first, this side allows you to. Again, this practice is not about forcing, but you wanna soften into the space that you create. Take one more inhale, come forward. This time you're welcome to go as far back as you'd like. Stretch your arms forward, move your hips back, and pause here to breathe. Good, and then come forward on your next in-breath. All right, we're gonna start off by reaching the left arm up toward the ceiling. Open the chest, look up. Exhale, round as you bring the left arm underneath your right arm. Bring the left side of your face to the ground. Good, walk your right arm forward, inhale here. Exhale the breath out. Bring your right hand next to the face once more and under the let's unwind. Reach your left arm all the way up and bring your left hand back down. Okay, so here we go with the strength work, building into the outer left hip. Flex your foot, bring the inner edge, so the big toe side onto the ground, and then move your chest forward, ground into the arms, engage your belly. Let's start to lift the leg up away from the ground. That's it, three, two, and one. Slowly lower or hover. Two more, here we go, inhale, lift. Three, two, one, slowly lower and hover. One more time. Inhale, lift. Three, two, one, slowly lower down. Bring your knee back in line with your hips and find child's pose. This time, bring your forehead to the ground. Bring your arms by your side, palms up. Then you're welcome to stretch the arms out and place your fingers. Reach your arms up and over towards the head. Very good, and then release your arms. Let's come forward into a seated position, hands in, uh, onto your shins. And then come back into your tabletop position. Let's find your first downward facing dog. As you tuck your toes, bring your palms down, lift your hips up toward the ceiling. Make a few rounds of wiggling side to side. Right and left. Bending at the knees, pedaling out the feet, swaying the hips, and releasing any tension in the neck and head. All right, go ahead and come forward into a high plank position, top of a push up, stacking the shoulders over the wrist, belly is strong. Collarbones are broad. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Again, come forward, lift your heels high, shift forward to high plank position. Good, exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, come forward, high plank pose. On this round, I want you to spread your fingers wide, hold, and bend your knees. Keep your hips exactly where they were. You're simply Bending at the knees, hovering them. Five, good, strong shoulders, strong arms. Four, three, two, one. Come onto the tops of your feet. So untuck them, come onto the tops of your feet, but keep hovering your knees. All right, a little bit of core work here. We bring your right foot forward, left foot forward. Again, we're on the tops of our feet. Right foot forward, left foot forward. Left foot back, right foot back. Left foot back, right foot back. Bring your feet even and lower both knees to the ground. Sit back onto your heels. Press into your shins as you rise all the way up into an Ustrasana or camel lifted position. Open the arms. Exhale, bend your arms out wide into a cactus shape. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hips back toward the heels. And bring your arms down by your side, forehead to the ground. Good, again, inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Push your hips forward, engage your belly. Exhale, elbows out wide. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, move your arms back behind you as you hinge hips toward the heels and fold. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, press into your shins, hips forward, arms all the way up. Exhale, bend your elbows out wide. Inhale, reach your arms, lower your hands to the ground. This time, let's find our way into a tabletop position. Tucking the toes under once more, lift your knees up away from the ground. Lift your right foot up, let's find a three-legged down dog position. Go ahead and bend your knee to open the hip, lift your knee up toward the sky. Find a few circles here, moving forward, out and back, rotating in the direction of your hip bone. Let's take three. From there, move the opposite direction, back, out and forward, one, very good, two, one more, three. Back to three-legged down dog. Let's find a little bit of core engagement more. Knee to your outer right shoulder, hold. Lift back up. Lower your right foot down. Tabletop hovering. Knees hover off the ground. Three, two, one. Lower the knees. Untuck your toes. Inhale, reach your arms up. Hips forward, exhale, bend your elbows out wide. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, tabletop position. Tuck your toes, that's it, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up toward the ceiling, and then bend your knee. Let's find three hip circles, forward, out, and back. One, two, good, and three. And you're going to take the opposite direction. Go back, out, and forward. One. Good. Two. And three. Into three-legged down dog. Good. Knee to left upper arm. Tap it out. Hold. Good. Inhale, lift. One more time. Knee to left upper arm. Good, inhale, lift it up, bring your left foot down, downward facing dog. Coming forward into your high plank position, bend your knees, hover, tops of your feet, and bring your shins down. Inhale, rise up, arms up, chest up. Exhale, bend your elbows out wide. Bring your arms all the way up toward the ceiling, and let's bring hands at heart center. Okay, so sit your hips back onto your heels, reach all the way up with your arms one more time, hips lift, hands to heart center, one more time, inhale, lift your arms, exhale, hands to heart center. All right, go ahead and bring your hands to the ground, I'm going to step my right foot forward in between my two hands, but closer toward my right thumb. Okay, so from here in an Anjani Asana or low lunge position, go ahead and bring your hands to your hips. If your feet feel a little bit narrow, you can widen the stance of your right foot. Try to keep your front right knee stopped over the heel just to start here, finding more uh, grounding in the feet and the back shin, press it down. Lift your spine tall, resist the urge to bring your right hip forward, but try and keep your hips square. Inhale, lift tall, shoulders stay broad. Exhale, move your hips forward, the left hip forward, but lift up out of the low back through the chest. Good, and then bring your chest forward. Bring your fingertips to the ground. Move your hips back toward the left heel. Flex your right foot and just fold. If you have blocks, you can place them on either side of your front foot. For today, I'm just using my hands. Go ahead and bring your right foot forward. Again, hands to your hips. Move your hips toward the front heel. This time, reach your arms all the way up toward the sky. Exhale, bend the elbows out wide. Good, inhale, arms reach. Bring your hands to the ground. Move your hips all the way back toward the back heel as you extend the front leg straight to fold. It's a nice variation of Ardha Hanuman, or half split. Okay, you're gonna come forward into your lunge position with the back knee down. Hands to your hips. 
upright spine. Take another inhale through the nose, hands to your hips, go ahead and swivel your left heel behind your right hip. And then turn your chest open toward the left side of your mat. Let's find this beautiful warrior two shape with the back knee down. Okay, you can walk your right foot forward a little bit more, finding more opening in the hips. Move your hips toward the front heel. You get a nice stretch, but keep your spine upright and then move it back. Let's do that one more time. Move your hips toward the front right foot. Good, and then come into your warrior two shape. Flip your right palm. Let's find reverse warrior. Reach the left fingertips behind you. Open your chest, open your hips forward. Reach the right arm back. Then slowly come upright. Bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot. Left arm up and over the left ear. Finding nice extended side angle variation. Drawing the left shoulder blade down the back. Let's repeat, inhale, sweep your arms up and back over the right ear, move back, overhead, breathing. Exhale out, inhale, slowly rise and come to the front for extended side angle. Okay, open the arms wide, shoulder height, circle them forward, turn your left foot behind you once more, tuck your left toes so we're in a full lunge position. Hands to the ground, reach your right leg up and back, find three-legged down dog. Breathe in, and breathe out. From here, turn out to the outer edge of your left foot. Let your right toes lower to the ground. Okay, bring your right hand to your left shoulder. Push the ground away, open your chest, look up, and then reach your right arm over the face toward the front. An option to bring your right hand Behind the neck, reaching for the left shoulder blade. Good. Release your right hand to the ground. Let's find a high plank. Okay, so you have several options. You can hold plank here, or we're taking a chaturanga. Lean forward onto the toes, bend the elbows close to the outer ribs. Hold. Find your first upward facing dog. Thighs lift. Tops of the feet press. Reach your chest forward and up. Good, and then roll over the tops of the feet. Find downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Full breath in. And full breath out. Come forward, high plank. Lower your knees to the ground. Step your left foot forward in between the two hands. All right. Going to bring your hands to your hips, upright spine. Lift up, inhale. Exhale, move your hips toward the front heel, keeping your hips square and really stable. The pelvis is nice and neutral. Move your hips back, extend the front leg straight, flex your left toes, and fold. You only go to the degree that your body gives permission. Good, one more time. Inhale, come forward. Hips forward. This time, reach your arms up overhead. Good, exhale, bend the elbows out wide, chest up. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, lower your hands. Hips move all the way toward the back heel. Flex the front toes, hold. Again, come forward into your lunge position. Back knee down, hands to your hips. This time, swivel your back heel, right foot behind your left hip. And then open your arms out wide. So as you see, this is a nice Virabhadrasana 2 or second warrior shape. You can walk your front foot forward a little bit more to find a greater depth of lunge. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, move your hips toward the front heel. Notice the more wider your stance is, the greater stretch you will have in the inner right hip. Good, and then release. Let's do one more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lean forward, hinge. And then come into your warrior two variation. From here, flip your left palm and come into reverse warrior. Reach your right fingertips down as you reach your left arm over the ear. Rise upright, extended side angle, left palm down, reaching the right arm up and over the top ear. Inhale, rise. 
Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, extended side angle variation. So we come upright to warrior two. Good, bring your hands to your hips. Turn your right foot behind you. Bring your hands to the ground. Go ahead and tuck your right toes. We're in our low lunge position. Step your left foot up and back all the way to three-legged down dog. Ground into your hands first. Then lift your left knee up as you start to pivot onto the outer edge of your right foot. Right hand grounds, lower your left toes to the ground behind your right knee. Left hand to your right shoulder. Push your hips up, drive your hips up, chest opens. Fine, wild thing. And then an option to reach your left arm straight toward the front or to bring the hand behind the neck toward the right shoulder blade. Good, lift your left arm up and return it to the ground, finding your high plank, top of the push-up. Let's take one more vinyasa, moving through chaturanga. Come all the way forward toward your toes. Belly strong, bend your elbows, slowly lower halfway hold. Good, upward facing dog. Tops of your feet flat, thighs lift. Move the bottom ribs forward and up, keeping your neck long. Good, downward facing dog. Hips to the sky. Full breath in. Exhale out. Lift your right leg high, inhale. Bring your right knee to your outer right arm one more time. Step your foot to the outer right hand. All right, so we're in a lizard lunge, wider stance in our feet. Go ahead and heel toe your right foot as much as you need to. However, keep your shoulders stacked over the hands, chest is forward. Okay, so you might want to stay here for a few moments, few breaths to just wiggle out the hips, move any stagnant energy that might still be remaining in the body, and then find stillness here. Stretch your heel back, lift the back thigh up, and move your chest forward as you hug the front inner knee toward the front outer shoulder. Good, and then grounding your left hand down. You also have the option to bring your back knee down. Reach your right arm forward, up and all the way back. Open your chest. Good, return your right hand forward and down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach your right arm forward, up and back. Good, exhale. Close the circle. All right, let's take an arm balance here. If you'd like, you stay here and you breathe. If you want to take an arm balance, Ekapada Kuninyasana or Herbler's Pose, the second one is available. You're gonna lean forward, bend your right heel and lift it up. Bend your elbows, chest forward. Lean forward. Let the left toes float, extend. And float your right foot back. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. And exhale out. Good. Left leg high. Inhale. Bend your left knee. Tap your upper left arm. Step the foot outside of your hand. Okay, so again, find the appropriate distance. Keeping your arms as wide as your shoulders. Ground into your hands and your feet. Okay, so find a little movement here. Maybe swing a little side to side, and then ground into your hands. Reach your right heel back, lift your right thigh up, chest forward. Sweep your left arm forward, up and all the way back. Good, exhale, close off the circle. Again, inhale, reach your arm up and back. Exhale, close it off. All right, from here, one more arm balance, second side. So lean forward, attach your left knee to your outer left arm. Lean forward and lift your heel up, bend the elbows, float your back leg. Good, extend the leg if you have it. Vinyasa through. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Exhale out. Widen the stance of your feet. Look forward, bend your knees. Walk your hands all the way back toward your feet. Hands to heart center. 
Let's find our yoga squat or our malasana. All right, so from here, I know we were on our hands quite a bit today, which is good. We're strengthening the entire body. Strong body, strong mind. Just take a few circles, roll out any tension in the hands and the wrist. And then ground into your feet. Reach your right arm in front of your right shin and reach your left arm up toward the sky. Open the chest, spread your fingers wide. Good, bring your hands back to heart. Second side, left arm in front of left shin. Reach your right arm up. Good, hands back to heart. One more each side, right arm in front of right shin, left arm all the way up. Good, hands back to heart. Left arm in front of left shin, reach the right arm up toward the sky. Good, bring your hands back to heart. All right, so let's find a little bit more strength work in the arms using the shape of Malasana. Go ahead and bring your hands to the ground. Lift your hips up, hip height. Lift your heels up. And as you lean forward, notice how the shoulders begin to step over the wrist. Notice how the hips start to lift and move toward lifting over the shoulders. Okay, simply lower the hips, spring off the toes, clap your toes and lower back down nice and light. We're gonna take several more hops to the front of the mat. See if you can stay up in the air for a moment or two longer. Here we go. Again, keep your arms straight. And then if you can hold it, you hold. Hold, hold, and slowly make your way down. Come into Malasana, very good. One more time, reach your right arm in front of the right shin. Left arm all the way up toward the sky. Good, hands back to heart. Left arm in front of left shin, reach the right arm up. Good, hands back to heart. One more each side, right arm in front of right shin, left arm all the way up. Let's find a half bind, bring the left arm behind you. And then the right arm in front of the right shin, moving toward the left fingers to create that bind. Open the chest. So you're welcome to stay right here, or we take the balancing pose, balancing Marichi Asana. Okay, lift your hips, heel toe your left foot underneath your left seat. Look forward, lift your right toes off the ground. Keep hugging your thigh in toward the outer right ribs. Good, find your balance. Open chest. Three, point your toes, two, and one, hinge at the hips for an option to fold. Good, and then slowly we rise. And lower down, bend your left knee, release your right foot to the ground. Open the arms back wide. Good, hands back to heart. Second side, left arm in front of left shin, reach the right arm up. Good, bring your right arm behind you for a half bind. Left arm in front of your left shin, hands reaching toward one another to create the bind. So again, you have the option to stay right here or look down for the balance. Heel toe your right foot in as you lift your seat. Look forward, press into your right foot. Let the left toes leave the ground as you open the hips. Drive your hips forward as you point your left toes. Open the chest. Three, two, one, go ahead and hinge at the hips as you fold forward. And slowly we rise. And lower down. Control the descent as you bend the right knee. Lower your left foot to the ground. Release your arms, open them wide. Hands to heart. Hands to the ground. And come into a seat. Very good, take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale out. Go ahead and bring your feet flat to the ground, scoot your hips forward, then go ahead and lower all the way onto your backside. So we're ready to find a little bit of back bending in our practice today. Bring your feet flat, hips distance apart. You wanna bring your right ankle over your left thigh 
before we lift the hips up together for our back bend. Let's move a little bit more into our hips. Press the inner right knee forward and reach your arms forward to interlace the fingers behind your left thigh. Here, or you can interlace your left shin. Take an inhale here. Exhale, draw your right shin in toward the chest. Notice how my low back is trying to stay on the ground. I don't want to lift it all the way up. Try and keep your low back flat. That's it. And you're welcome to extend the, the left leg straight. And let's lower the feet back down. Second side, left ankle over the right. Reach your arms forward, interlace where you feel is appropriate. Take an inhale, flex the feet. Exhale, pull the left shin in toward the chest. Breathing in and breathing out. Again, option to extend the bottom leg up. Good, bend your knee. Lower your feet back to the ground and release. Both feet flat. As you ground the feet, hips distance apart, let's prepare for our bridge pose, Sita Bandhasana. Press your feet to lift your hips up away from the mat, engage the glutes, and drive your hips up evenly without thrusting the low belly. So you wanna keep everything nice and contained, pulling in toward the center line of the body and driving the shin bones energetically forward. Think of lengthening your tailbone toward the back of the legs, that's it. Let's stay here for one more breath. And on the exhale, lower your hips down one inch, hover them off. Good, inhale, reach your arms up with the hips this time, all the way over the head. Beautiful, awesome. Exhale, lower your hips, hover them, lower your arms at the same time. Let's take a couple more. Inhale, lift your hips, lift your arms all the way up overhead. Good, exhale, lower back down. Again, inhale, reach your arms up, hips up, chest is broad. Good, exhale, lower all the way back down. We've got two more. Inhale, lift your arms, lift your hips. Keep your feet engaged. Exhale, lower back down. One more time, inhale, lift. We'll stay lifted this round. Keep your hips up, keep reaching your arms overhead. Press the back of your hands into the ground. Three, good, two, one. Slowly release your hips to the ground. Feet wide to the edges of your mat and knees touching at the center. Take a full inhale through the nose. Exhale out. Again, inhale and exhale. Okay, so the feet are wide, the knees are touching at the center line of the body. You're simply going to open your knees toward the right and create a 90-90 degree angle with both knees. Feet are flexed. The arms are wide. And then lift your knees back up, swivel them toward the left side. Notice how the opposite hip lifts. Allow that to happen. The shoulders stay grounded. Inhale, knees back up. Exhale to the right. Let's stay here this time. Simply lift your bottom, your right leg up, and place it over your left thigh, your top leg. Use the weight of that right top leg to gently pull the inner left knee down, getting that nice opening in the left hip. Sit the left side body. And then continue to reach your arms overhead and grab opposite elbows. Good, full breath in. And full breath out. Again, inhale through the nose. Exhale out the nose. Lift your feet up, release the ankle off the thigh. Move to the second side. Knees swivel to the left, left ankle lifts. Place it on the outer right thigh. And then switch the press of the arms. Allow the inner right knee to press downward as you open the right side body. Breathing in. Good, and breathing out. Breathing in. And releasing the breath. You're welcome to stay in any of these postures 
longer than I'm asking. Please listen to what your body may need for your practice today. Go ahead and hug your knees into your chest. Give them a nice big hug. And then keeping your thighs in, keep your right knee in toward your chest. Flex both feet. Start to extend your left leg down the mat nice and long. Okay, so we're moving into Apanasana, win-win eating pose. Take an inhale here. You're welcome to circle the ankles. Move out any last bit of tension in the joints. Gently guide your right shin open toward the right. Left arm, in, left arm can go out wide. And then slowly go the opposite way, switching arms, right arm out wide, and move into a spinal twist variation. Try and keep your shoulders on the ground. Gaze moves opposite of the knees. And then come back to the center. Plant the feet. Hug them in. Left knee stays this time, right leg extends straight. Again, roll around the joints and the ankles. And then bring your right arm out wide. Left knee moves toward the left. Maintain neutrality of the pelvis, evenness of the hips. And then switch arms as you guide your knee over toward your right, keeping your left shoulder blade on the ground. And slowly make your way back to the center. Hug both knees in. Lift your head and shoulders off the ground. Take an inhale here. Exhale, release your feet. And find your way into a resting pose, Shavasana. Let the legs and arms fall out. Release any tension in the fingers and toes. Please stay here as long as you like. Three, four, maybe five to seven minutes. Relax the face and the base of the throat. Soften the belly and the hips. Allow the breath to be soft and light. And then once you have taken your Shavasana, begin to move your fingers and your toes. Open and close the hands as you flex and point the feet. Go to make circles with your wrist and your ankles and stretch your arms overhead, reach your legs forward. Stretch the spine, arms and legs, out the fingers and toes. And exhale, release your arms by your side. Go ahead and hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug one last time. Rock a little side to side, right and left. And then roll over to your right side, coming into fetal position, resting your head on your upper left arm. Just pause here for a moment. Gently press yourself up to a forward facing seat. Try and keep your eyes closed as you bring your hands together at heart center. I want to thank each and every one of you for sharing your practice with me today. Let's share one last breath as we conclude today's practice. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Open mouth, sigh it out. Let the head fall toward heart center in deep gratitude as we give thanks for each and every day, for each and every breath. Namaste.